So what the heck is going on? What will cause the housing boom to end? If you read the financial news, you've seen it by now, right? Zillow won't be purchasing any more homes and the red flags about the real estate market doom and gloom is coming. Here we go again, talking about the end of the housing market. If you believe everything the media is brainwashing you with, then stop watching this because what I'm going to tell you will blow your mind right after this. Cool. If we haven't met yet, I'm Sphere Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales. As a local realtor on Staten Island, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. I'm so happy you're watching this video today because the media just loves to put fear into the street. Let's face it, good news don't sell as well as bad news. We hear things like a Zillow plunging stock prices, a warning about the housing market. Heck, the media has been calling for a market crash for years now. First, it was the double the recession. What happened instead? Home prices started going up. Right away, the bubble talk was everywhere. And yet, we've been riding on an upward market for years now. The inventory shrinking and buyer demand for housing keeps going up and up and up. On the local level here on Staten Island, we've been seeing the same thing. But wait, wait, wait. During the pandemic, a new chatter was circling around. Buyers were saying that people are leaving New York, so more homes will become available and prices will drop. Nope, that didn't happen either. So what the heck is going on? What will cause the housing boom to end? It is a perfect time to take a deeper look at what's really going on no one talks about. Oh, YouTube really likes it when my videos get likes, so click like on this video, do me a favor, consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, thanks, moving on. Back to Zillow and why they pause buying homes like lunatics. If you're slightly aware of the current state of the world, you know that almost every industry is fighting for workers these days. Access to contractors to make repairs on the house is really impossible unless you can afford to be waiting for months. You might be thinking to yourself, what does this have to do with the housing market? Everything. Especially if you believe the media when they try to scare you by comparing what Zillow is doing to what's really happening in the market. Zillow is not pausing its home buying program because they think the market will crash. Zillow is pausing buying homes because they have the same problem we all have. They're not in the market to buy and hold properties. They want a quick flip for the most profit they can possibly get. That means they are very sensitive to price and since they are paying a lot for the properties they purchase and most of these homes are in need of repair, they cannot get contractors fast enough to turn the inventory around. So what does this say about the real estate market? Mainly it tells me that we are still in a labor crunch. High prices of homes will push some home buyers out for a little while. People are still buying. They may not be happy about the price. They may hate the price on houses because the price keeps going up, but it really did not slow down buying houses. So when does the housing boom end? The short answer is when the supply of homes catches up to buyer demand. Until this happens, I don't expect any real changes to the housing. My message to you is as such. If it's the right time for you to own your home, go out there and buy it. Don't wait for change. Change is unknown. So do what is right for you. When it's right for you, don't let fear guide you. Don't listen to everything the media wants you to believe. Do your own homework. Do what's right for you. So until we catch up with the inventory to buyer demand, which is millions of homes, I'm not foreseeing any real changes. I believe that the America's real estate market boom is not 
going to be over anytime soon. I'd love to hear your opinion about this crazy real estate market. Comment below, share your ideas, share your thoughts with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you Monday.